Hi, I'm here with Chris Debman Rollet. Chris is a member of the developer community and is working hard on his programming skills. Hi, Chris. Welcome to DevNet Create. Hi, thank you. You have an interesting story on your road to becoming a developer. You started as a butcher, but you've really dived into learning how to code. Uh, can you share how you became interested in programming? So at first, since I was young, I've been interested in new technology like robot space and stuff like that. But back then, I wasn't a good student, so I had a very good experience, bad experience with school, and I dropped out pretty early. I was like 14, and I chose to work instead to continue in school. And I worked 12 years in the field, and I I hate. Uh, in late 2019, I got a new opportunity. Before the pandemic, I quit my job and moved to America to marry my wife. Uh, as a new immigrant, I can't work, so instead I asked her to teach me programming because she is a software engineer. And then she introduced me to Python. Immediately, I fell in love with the language. And then I also attend a school here, Ado School, which offers Cisco training for CCNA uh, as the carry option that encourage my patient for technology even more. And here we are. Smile. Awesome, that's very cool. Yeah. You've been documenting your learning path in a blog. Uh, how are people reacting to your posts? I get this very some good review, actually. A uh, few people interact with me, uh, with I'm post, what I, I'm posting. Some people retweet my blog post. It's pretty, yeah, pretty amazing. At first, the blog was for keep me motivated to learn. Then I participate to the 100 days of code challenge on Twitter. And then the idea is to post every day about what you are doing for keep you motivated. And this where the idea to write things down in a blog start. It helped me to stay in track with my goal and motivate other people, other learner. So yeah. Very cool. Yeah. It's a great blog. People will get a lot out of it. That I'm sure that we will post a link to it. Um it's good stuff for sure. Yeah, thank you. Um, along the way, what have you found the most difficult thing to learn? Oh, uh, understanding how loop works was very difficult for me. <laughs> I worked a couple of weeks for them, and then one day, like magic, I just understood. Uh, I think because my English is not very good, better now than when I start, for sure, <laughs> believe me. The syntax is very often difficult for me. In Python, it's all about English. If you have a good English skill, it should be easier. Okay. You sound great to me. I can, I can <laughs> understand you. Uh, Thank what, you. What, no, sure thing. What kind of things have you found to be the most fun? Uh, the first time I work on a personal automation project, I create a reminder to notify me when to take out my puppy. Uh, at this time, she had like to take it out every two hours. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm holding all the learning code and networking, but time flies when you couldn't learn something that you're passionate about. That's why I think my first project was the most fun. I was okay. the first time I felt really like enjoying working on it. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, so you come from France. Um, how do you think programming appeals to an international audience? From what I know in France, programming looks like very complicated. Some people think you need to go to school for many years to learn to code, but that's totally false. You just need an internet connection, text editor and passion for learning. And you're good to go. Great. <laughs> you're also doing, with your blog and everything, you're doing a lot of outreach on social media. Uh, how is that going? What kind of reactions do you get from, from around the world? Pretty good reaction, actually. Some, sometimes we share resources with each other, like for CCN STD8 or free courses. And, and at the time, like kind of world the, of encouragement, uh, I motivate some people who, like me, start from scratch. and. That's pretty, pretty nice. People from all around the world reach me and interact with me. I have people from Nigeria, Congo, some European country, and of course the US. Surprisingly, not one from France. I don't know why. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, yeah. Recently, I posted an article about my, my starting like, as a meat worker, and I got a lot of reaction. I think people are especially drawn to my story of starting in a totally different field and finding my way to programming on IT in general. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so we're here with the DevNet Create Conference. Uh, is there anything that you're especially interested in, in learning about? Uh, I'm look 
I'm really looking forward to some of the start node channel lecture, like automation exchange and see if learning code it. And of course, the teach, learn, and make with Python IoT tech. So I have a few dev boards sitting around waiting to be used. So. Cool. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who's getting started on their uh, developer journey? Uh, more important, I think, is do not be afraid to ask a question. Go on your favorite social media or interact with the community. You can, re you can reach me as well if you have any question. I will always do my best to help you. If I can do it, you can do it. Awesome. Very cool. Well, thanks, Chris. I really appreciate your time here, and best of luck with your learning. Thank you, and I look forward for re reach with you more. Thank you.